Hello everyone, it's me Shopper and welcome to another video. Today's video I'm gonna be making a completely new style of videos into my channel. I'm gonna be talking about five different mobile games from different categories MMORPG, roleplay, tower defense, as well as strategy, even and shooting games. I'm gonna be taking an overview over each game as well as explain and give my personal opinion about each game of them and the top one game on it. You're gonna be really surprised that this game is the top one. And even some of these games I have played and covered already over my channel. So let's start with the top five mobile games to August 2023. And the top game number five we have is Tower of God's New World. This game it's based on a tower defend or you're climbing a tower where you're fighting your way through it get to a higher floor you use multiple heroes and you can be choosing over or you can choose from over a hundred heroes with different types different skills ultimate elemental everything you're gonna be finding way way a lot of things to be able to use in the game and not only that there is as well the battle to be joining with your friends your guilds as well as there is skins in the game and the scale animation is extremely realistic that you be like imagining if you're watching an anime and it's not a mobile game you know it's really magnificent as well as their voice actor and their way of talking like it's really something interesting to be able to hear these comments from the heroes and the characters and even just looking to the skill animation, it's really something I like a lot about this type of game. Like, mm, you know, it's something extremely big compared to being a mobile game. And as we can see over here, that's an ultimate to one of the heroes, as well as there is a function in the game that you can be reviewing the skill for any heroes, even if you don't have that hero itself. You can be having the hero in a tutorial fight to be checking if that hero is something you want to be adding into your collection or not since most of the heroes you're going to get either by events or in the summon. So yeah, that's really something I rarely find it in any other games. So yeah, it's a worst to be giving it a shot. And the top four game we have is Watcher of Realms. And that game I have already been playing myself, and I truly like that game a lot. You have a hundred heroes, you can be choosing from different elements, well, not elements, but aliens. You can be making your complete team from different ones. Either you have a healers, you have fighters, you have tanks, marksmen, as well as mage. You have a big collection of heroes you can be choosing from, any of them. And... Not only that, there is as well. The game is built on strategy, so you have to be building a good team combined together to be completing each other. It's like your hand. Every hero complete the other one. If you're not making it balanced, like if every hero is not completing the other, or you know you're focusing more on the healing without enough damage or you focus on tank without enough damage and everything like that then it's all gonna be screwed so yeah this type of game is really something i like myself especially because i have been playing this game since they have released it and it got my attention extremely well and i'm not surprised that it's in top five and the next game we have the top three game which is dragon nest to evolution that game it have just released few weeks ago and it surprised me that it's in the top five games for this month really nowadays they start to be making a will made mobile games with high revolution and as well as the visual effects is really good 
this game it have a five elements or uh, four classes I meant sorry we have the warrior the mage we have as well as the archer and the clerk so we have a good collection of heroes to be choosing from for me I went for warrior since I like to be having a warrior as well as it's good for damage and tank you know but yeah it's completely your choice to be choosing which hero you're going for it's completely your choice and you can see here there is also a good function in the game that it helps out to be making the requests auto. You can be doing it while you're working or if you're doing something else it will be running in the background to be helping you out to get more of the dungeons finished up. And yeah, there is the dungeons, there is as well guild. You can be fighting along with your friends as well. It's really good game to be investing your time into. Not too bad. So yeah, that type of games I truly like, especially because I have been, let's say, diving into the MMORPG games for the mobile, especially because it's not often I'm playing mobile games. I think it have been like a year or maybe two years since I have been playing mobile games. But yeah, you know, it's always good to be having some type of changes. To be changing the type of games that we're playing, it's always good to be keeping you inter interesting and entertained more, so not be feeling bored from the games that you're playing. So, write to me in the comment section what you're thinking about this game as well. So, let's go to the top two, and we have Snowbreak Contain Zone. This game, it's into a planet, or the Earth planet have got invaded by Titans. Well, not the attack on titans, you know, but robot titans. And uh, you're having multiple heroes to be picking up from, to be choosing whatever you want, to be fighting for survival into the world, to be getting back the earth, as well as it's a shooting game, basically, basic, with really good graphics. And not only that, but also the storyline is really something good. And the guide into this game is making it a lot easier. And it's, I think it's the first time for me to be seeing this type of games into the ga gaming market. Which get it really interesting to be seeing this type of games. It's always good to be having something new in the world. Or in the gaming world, you know. Not in the actual world. So yeah, I'm just showing you exactly an actual gameplay to the game, so you don't think like it's not the actual game. So you maybe will be able to take a decision like, ah, yeah, this game is worth to be trying and give it a go. But trust me, all these five games, they are really, really, really good to be given a, tr a try at least. And yeah, the visual effect in all their games really something that got my interest especially because lately all the mobile games that have added really a well made visual effects and not only that but also the graphic is a really great one and yeah for me playing uh, Snowbreak it have been really a good opportunity for me to be trying something new especially because I'm more into a shooting game or I'm more of a shooter gamer I like to be playing most of the shooting games, so trying out something new, it was really a good experience. So yeah, give it a try, and I'm more than sure you will be enjoying this game, as well as the visual effects, like their skills and their ultimate is really something great. And even the bosses too, if you check how they are well designed, and there's uh, attack, their effects, everything like that. And yeah, there is also in this game there is a summon, there is a cambage where you can be fighting through the land to get it back, as well as you have the events where you can be getting more of the heroes to be helping out to be fighting your way through it. So yeah, it's really something you need to be given it a try. And now to the top one, Arena Breakout. It's a shooting game that you are able to customize your character 
you can be changing the face, the hair, hairstyle, the skin, the color, everything around it, and you even can be choosing the country or the flag. That you can be selecting it easily to show everyone else where are you from and everything like that. This game is based on that you are into a survival land where you can be playing with other people, other friends, not all uh, AI. You can be playing with your friends, you can invite each other to be playing in a campaign, to be clearing missions, and you have a quest to be finishing up. The tutorial was really helpful to be helping out, to be giving you the best tips for you in the start of the game to know exactly how to be proceeding in the game and how to be playing it out. I like the way of how they are making the guides in these type of games, especially because not many of the games making this type of things in the start. They do, yes, but on the same time they are a bit making it more complicated, not really covering up everything. As well as uh, there is a storyline, there is a campaign, and as I said, there is also the market where you can be getting more of the weapons and the loot. You can be getting it even more from in the campaign when you kill someone, you are able to be looting that one and take everything that this person has. Something you need to know about Arena Breakout that if you got killed in a campaign, everything that you're having in your pack bag gonna be getting loose. You won't be getting it back. So be careful when you're playing the game. Make sure to be taking cover and to be keeping your eyes all around to know exactly where the enemy are and to be killing them on time to be making it all the way through the quest. So yeah, that was all for the top 5 mobile games for August 2023. I hope this type of games guys that gonna be really helpful for you and keep you interesting into. Write to me in the comment section what you're thinking about the games that I have covered. Did you like it? Have you given it a try? I'll be making sure to read all your comments and I hope it will be helpful for you. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, enjoy the game and happy gaming time.